y'all. I'm Patty. This is Little Red Southern Kitchen. Today you get a twofer. A twofer Tuesday. I don't know what day you'll see it, but this is going to be a twofer one. Today we're doing a compliment to Trisha Yearwood. We are making Trisha Yearwood chicken pie and Trisha Yearwood's butter beans. So let me tell you what I got going on. You're going to have to look at that closer because I'm going to be moving around. And you've been missing my stuff. In here, now you can use three cups of shredded chicken, you know, rotisserie chicken. But I've got two 12 and a half ounce cans of the chunk chicken breast. I love having those on hand for a quick meal or a good chicken salad. In here, I have a stick of butter that I've melted. And in here, I have two cups of chicken broth and a 10 ounce can of cream of chicken. Alright, back here I have some water with some salt and some minced onion. Hand me that butter beans. I'm going to put this 12 ounce bag of baby lima beans, but here we call them butter beans. And we're just going to cook these while we're fixing everything else. I do have a little bit of salt, I think I said. Alright. And I've broken this up. I don't want it too fine. I fixed one of these three years ago. But I called it a chicken pot pie because I had mixed vegetables. But we're not having the mixed vegetables in it. We're just making the chicken pie. And preheat your oven to 425. And I've got this in the casserole dish. Man, I want to... Why are you all up in my grill? I wanted to see. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I guess we're thinking... I'll put some pepper on top of it. You do not want to add any salt to this because it's salty enough between the chicken the broth and the soup and the butter because I think I used uh, salted butter all right I'm going to pour this over the chicken just a mixture of the broth and the uh, cream of chicken soup now what I've done is I didn't have um, actual broth but I made my own with two cups of water and yeah, that's stuff. <laughs> what stuff? Oh, the water and my chicken flavor bouillon. Yeah. The polo. Alright. Here I have a small bowl. A <laughs> small bowl. A small bowl. I need two cups of self-rising flour. You can use this quick. Uh oh, I hope I have enough. But I have this quick if not. I need two cups of this. These are half cup measures. All up in my grill again. I'm going to pour the melted butter in here. This was, I figured this would be easier to do it over here than it would be getting that burner out and taking forever. The only problem is this man's all up in my way, but I, would, I, I guess I, and I need him. doubling the sauce on this the topping because I got a bigger pan you need two cups of well shaken buttermilk I already had a fork out and mix this up 
Now this is your this is gonna make your your topping, your crust topping, but it's gonna be be a biscuit topping. But whenever you put it on, you're not going to uh you're just gonna spread it out on top without putting it in the you know, mixing it in. Can you see me okay? No, did you wanna be seen? <laughs> no, I meant this. Yeah. If not, I'm sure there'll be a comment later. About what? I can't see. Well, I noticed on one of the last videos you kind of had the stuff half out with the video, but that's okay. You can see everything that you're supposed to see. And all you want to do here is just pour this on top, but don't get it, like I said, don't mix it in. This makes the best topping. I was watching some old Trisha Yearwood videos because we've got on demand. <laughs> So I catch up on all the, even though I've seen this one, but I had forgotten about her butter beans. I like the way she does it. So, alright. I don't really need to smooth this much anymore. It's pretty much there. I'm going to place it in the oven. And it's going to bake for 45 minutes. Till the crust is brown and the filling is bubbly. Alright, and then I'll bring you back to show you the rest of that. That's got to cook. Alright, we'll be back shortly. Okay. Alright. Our chicken pie is done. Now what I'm going to do with these butter beans is I'm going to drain them real quick. <laughs> they Sorry. Are. And see, I've drained them. They're very tender. They've been cooking the whole time. I'm going to add just a tad bit more salt to finish it. And a little bit of pepper. And then I'm going to take some butter. And I'm going to add... some butter to these. And mix these up. Alright, I'll meet y'all over at the counter and we'll start plating up this food. Be see you in a minute. Alright, our Trisha Yearwood's chicken pie is done as well as her butter beans. Let's start serving this up. This, my house smells so good. And like I said, uh, I doubled up on the crust a little bit just because I wanted a thicker crust on this because it's that good. Oh, I can make a mess, I tell you what. Creamy and it's full of chicken. Like I said, you can use your rotisserie chicken. I just, it's convenient. It's uh, running a little bit late here and eat some of these good old butter beans. Ooh, these are hot. Alright guys, I thank y'all for joining me. 
I hope y'all are enjoying my food, and I really hope y'all try this. This is so good. I haven't had the chicken pie. I actually never had the chicken pie. I always added mixed vegetables to it. But I haven't had that in years. Like three years ago is whenever I made it. It was one of my very first videos. But I thank you for joining me. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come on in. Let's have some fun. Me and Tony, we like, we cut up a lot. We have a lot of fun over here. And like I said before, it's not just for the show. This is our daily life. We try to live a happy life. So hit that subscribe button. Come on, join us in this family. Share this out on your social media. Give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment. All right, guys. Supper's ready. See y'all later. Bye.